Aviation Language Practice Exam 1 English Language Proficiency for Aeronautical Communication LPAC Part 1 You will hear three short pilot to controller messages. Answer the questions in the spaces provided. The box space is limited. There will be a 10 second pause at the end of each communication for you to complete your answers. You now have 15 seconds to look at the questions before the recording starts. Descend to flight level 200 at 1,000 feet per minute minimum and report reaching flight level 200. Part 2 you will hear to ATIS messages. For each communication there are three questions. Select one of the three possible answers for each question, by ticking the appropriate box. There is only one correct answer. You will have 15 seconds to look at the questions before answering each communication. There will be a 15 second pause at the end of each communication for you to complete your answers. Now Litra International Airport Information Delta 0730 ILS Yankee Runway 16 right approach and ILS Yankee Runway 16 left approach Landing Runway 16 right and 16 left Departure Runway 16 right Parallel approaches in progress Departure frequency 124 decimal 2 Wind 160 degrees 1 tree knots Visibility 30 kilometers Feet 2,000 feet cumulus. Temperature 31. Dew point 25. QNH 1012 hectopasucles 29 or 9 or 0 inches. Advise you have information delta. Part 3 You will hear three communications between pilots and controllers. For each communication there are three questions. Select one of the three possible answers for each question, by ticking the appropriate box. There is only one correct answer. Ground, Dan Air 601, request pushback from stand 27. Dan Air 601, hold position. There is a light aircraft passing behind you. Roger ground, but I've got a slot time of 4-5. Dan Air 601, the time is 37, runway news to six. I'll push you back in a few moments. Ground, Dan Air 601. If we don't make this slot time, we've been told to expect a delay of two hours. Uh, Roger, Dan Air 601. I'll call you in a few seconds. Dan Air 601, pushback approved. Caution, there seems to be a bus behind you. Dan Air 601 is pushing back. Ground, Danair 301, time check please. Time 47. 
Have you got departure information? Dano, Danair 301 has copied the data. Do you have my plan for Mallorca? I anticipate an on-time departure. Affirm. Delays are building up on your route. Are you about ready? My passengers are just boarding. I'll be ready in ten minutes. Stand seven. Can you put me on request for a slot after, say, five-five? Roger, Dan Air 301, you're on request. Can you make a slot time of 5-2? That is a clearance expiry time of 5-5. Five, five. Negative. We now have a catering delay. Put me back one five minutes past the hour. Uh, Roger, let me know when you're ready. Part 4. You will hear three communications between pilots and controllers. For each communication there are three questions. Select one of the three possible answers for each question, by ticking the appropriate box. There is only one correct answer. There will be a 10 second pause at the end of each communication for you to complete your answers. Ground, BKL-821, request start-up for Edinburgh. Sorry, BKL-821, I have no plan under that call sign. Stand by while I check. Ground, BKL-821. As far as we're concerned, it was filed an hour ago. My apologies, the computer has failed to produce a strip for you. I'll write one out. Start-up approved, the temperature is plus one five. The flight plan processing system has gone wrong again and we haven't got your flight plan yet. They say it's likely to take at least 15 minutes. I'll call you back. Uh, there seems to be an error in your flight plan. The departure time has been entered in local time instead of GMT. Loading operations are taking longer than planned. Would you delay our flight plan until 1415? The passenger coach is being held up on the motorway. Uh, please delay our flight plan. I'll call you back when boarding is complete. Can we have permission to start up left outboard for engine check? Stand Bravo 14. Affirm. Start up power, please. You check safety. Advise complete. Part 5. You will hear three communications between pilots and controllers. For each communication there are five groups of statements. Select one of the three possible statements. There is only one correct answer. There will be a 15 second pause at the end of each communication for you to complete your answers. Tug 6, request tow from stand 30. Uh, Roger, tug, sit, tug 6, tow approved. Proceed all the way to the maintenance area. You can route via taxiway 2. Tug 6, Roger. The tow bar is bent and I'm waiting for him to get another one. Uh, tug 6, report when ready to tow. Tug 6, it won't be long. They're on the way back from engineering with it now. Roger. ground, BKL887 is ready to go, but the tow bar has broken. Uh, is it okay if we're a few minutes late? BKL887, if it's going to be more than a few minutes, we'll have to allocate a new slot. Ground, BKL887 on stand 7. We've got another tow bar, but it's a new design and it doesn't seem to fit. BKL887 ground, I'm sorry your clearance has expired. We'll issue a new slot when you're ready.
We're stuck on the ramp. The tow bar has come off during pushback. Uh, maybe you could push back under your own power from your present position. I'm afraid we'll have to be pushed further back. I'll check with the tug driver whether it can be fixed quickly. Expect start up in about an hour. Couldn't we start up earlier because we have racehorses on board and they'll be dead by then? Uh, I'll see what we can do, but it's a bit of a rush at the moment. Our wind indicator is unserviceable. It shows the wind direction, but not the speed. Danair 432, could you contact company when convenient? Danair 432, we'll go. Can you use number 2 box? If not, report back on this frequency. Danair 432.